over the last week I've done some more modifications to this Soul Silva DIY CNC machine. Initially, several weeks back, I 3D printed a holder for my Dremel 4000. And this is a really cool holder. And for cutting lightweight stuff, certainly for foam or real soft pine, that would be fine. And this was the dust shoe that was created to fit with it as well. But I was working on some Luon and some harder material, and the Dremel was really struggling. So I've 3D printed a different mount to hold a regular trim router. This was the first mount that I printed, and I printed this in wood filament. So this is mostly wood with a little bit of plastic in there. And I used this as the format or the base to design this in Tinkercad. And I put this on the machine, and it held the router fine, but I wanted some more support on the sides. So a little more time in Tinkercad, and this was created. Next thing is to actually cut out some, some stuff for a project I'm working on. I will share all these STL files on Thingiverse, and anyone that wants to modify these, change them up, please feel free to do so. So this whole housing here, we've got one, two, three, four main pieces, and then a little decorative cap on the front. This will be the first test with the big CNC as far as actually cutting some wood. This is just a city skyline I was playing around with the other day in Inkscape. So that's been sketched out in JS Cut. We brought it in and did some simple commands for an outside cut. And then as far as the windows, we're just going to do a, a shallower inside cut. And we've saved this as G-code. So let's take it over to the laptop and load for it up. For this little test, we're going to use some 16th inch end mills. And this shows the dust shoe. It's a very light piece, and that goes through for the little screw eye on top. I could print this a little bit larger to fit in that tube, but for now, black tape holds, or the brown tape holds. And we'll go Just from Just an underside view of the dust shoe and how everything lines up. Cut with this modified DIY Soul Silva CNC, upgraded to a trim router, and the cuts are pretty clean. I want to check how deep those cuts went. Looks pretty close to what I estimated when I measured it up, and so far so good. At the back side, we are very very close on the Z depth to what I measured. On the right hand side here, it's about a 32nd, maybe a 16th shallow, but it's very, very close. Pretty good results from a first cut. This was just a test to see how tight the resolution was and how well the machine would work. And so far, I'm impressed. This is a machine built with wood, cutting wood, and sizes always change a little bit. So, so far, so good. And the relief over there is pretty cool just on its own. So for now we're making progress and stay tuned for more projects. Thanks very much for taking a look. <music>